David, it's your time, amigo. He has been waiting and waiting and waiting for me to get back around to doing repairs. I've had this thing for ever, but uh, it's all done now. So, David, we found a couple small problems with the box. We found that the metering circuit was a little messed up, but we got the relative power working perfectly. Got the grid meter working good for you. Got the sensitivity dot knob dialed in. We did go in and put the aftermarket long big heavy duty capacitors in this thing from Harbaugh. Um, I could do a whole video just on that but I'm not going to bore everybody to tears with that. Went in and put a new uh, high voltage capacitor bank in it. Now I like to use a capacitor bank that's got the long ones. You can get the shitty cheap ones. They got short little caps on them. They work okay for short term. The heat has a tendency to get to them after a while though. Me personally, I like to use the one with the big long ones, the $140 ones, $150 ones. Um, just better caps. This works way, way better. Um, went in and cleaned up some of the goo and a gig around the, uh, the tuners. And then on the bottom side, we grounded the grids on the tubes. Um, everybody's seen me do that about 200,000 times. The other thing I did is I took your fan all apart and cleaned all the bushings. You know how quiet it is now? So when it first come in here, I was going So I took the fan apart, degummed the bushings, uh, de-oiled it, and then re-lubed it, put it all back together, and remounted it. That was it. Under that, this thing works like a friggin' rocket ship, man. So, we we'll start down on 1X. It's a 1,000 watt slug in PEP, 1,000 watt slug in average, 5 watt slug back in reverse from the Bird 10,000 watt dummy load. We're gonna use the RCI 2950. The uh, bench two pill, which has been driven into many, 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 many SB220s over the years. And it's going to get driven into three more before I'm done here. We're going to hit that with this 5 watt slug in reverse. You know, that's kind of a moot point. But uh, he does have the older, and what I mean by older is that this is an aftermarket Harbach board in here. And he had a couple wires that were broken off from that, and that was causing the meters not to run right. Older, but they make a newer one now with a little bit slightly more uh, modernized parts. And the board's a slightly different color. But other than that, it's the same old, same old getting on with it. Now those are my test tubes. These are uh, two brand new Taylor tubes that I got from my buddy Baker Man way back in the day. And I've used them in every single SB220 video that I've ever shot. There's been quite a few of them now. And I do that for one thing, standard, and two, I don't want the tubes to get damaged in shipping. So if you're out there and you're in this universe and you want to get your SB220 fixed and you choose you're going to send it to me, I'm going to use those tubes to test your amp because you're going to keep your tubes. So if your power output isn't what it shows here on the bench with two new tubes, it tells you that the tubes that you have are starting to go down give or take 10% because of the difference in watt meters. Other than that, so like if I show this thing doing 2500, 2300 watts, you get it on your end, drive it the same way with the same style and the same number of watts, and you're only seeing like 12, 1500 out of it, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be that the tubes have gone flat. Other than that, it's the same thing I do on every single one of these puppies, so. Okay. We've got our baselines all set up. We're on the 1,000 watt scale. So, I'll show you drive. Hello, hello. So, we're about 230 watts into this SB220. Now, <clears throat> take that up to 2x. And we're going to put this into the low tap. 
literally all this does is change the tap on the transformer. That's it. Cuts the voltage down. So we've fallen down to about 2,500 volts. 2,500. We're going to hit it with a little two pill. Hello. 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 Get about two grand out of it, 18, 1900 on low, with 220 watts, 230 watts of drive. Click the sword to high, we're going to increase our plate volts by 500 volts. Check this out. Hello in the corner. Hello in the corner. All right. Now I'm kind of leery to stick the camera over the top of the box. There's 3,000 volts on the top of that son of a bitch. So we're going to go to 5X. So now how this works is, uh, see if I can pull this off. The 10 is 1,000, 20 is 2, and the 30 is 3,000, 40 is 4, and of course the 50 is 5,000. So see if I can do this and keep this in frame. Hello, audio. I can sit here and I'm going to tweak this up just a little bit. See if we can tweak this out a little bit better. Hello. BDI. Hello BDI. I had to move this knob. Not even a sixteenth of a turn. To move the load knob, not even, it was just uh, about that much. And it picked up 200 watts. Now, all in all, when you guys are tuning out your boxes like this, you want to set it and forget it. Tune it out and leave it alone. So, hello, what are you? 2600 watts. Now, watch. Turn it off. Hello, audio. 2600 watts again. That's it. Set it, forget it. The hardest thing you can do to the tube and the most abusive thing you can do to the tube is load it, unload it, load it, and unload it. Load it, tune and loading it all the time. Tune for your max amount of peak power which means your circuit's going to be the most max and resonant that it can for the circuitry, and then leave it alone. And David, all this is here is a standby switch with a light attached to it. And what I mean by standby switch is, unless that green light's on, my brother, amplifier ain't going to key. So down, standby, green means go. That's it. Relative power. Hello. Hello. Back to that sensitivity down just a hair. Hello. Of course, your grid. Hello. Play amp ear meter. Hello. Audio. I'll put our hello water. That's it. Done. Done and done. I'm going to let it cool off. I'm going to pull the tubes out. I'm going to put all the armor and the shell and the pieces back together. And David, I'll be getting with you tomorrow. I'm going to call her and get a shipping quote to get this heavy bastard sent home. But brother, you're done. Your wait is over in about four to five days. You're going to be squared up, ready, straight, ready to go home. Or you're going to have it at your home, pardon me. That's it. Gentlemen, my name is BBI, one of the last individuals still making the good fight, trying to get all these tube boxes up and running on the band. There's a lot of pill technicians out there, but not a lot of tube guys. So, I appreciate everybody's patience. I love these old SP220s. I can wire them blindfolded, upside down, hanging from my toenails, painted purple. I know these amps, man. One of my favies of all times. If you got a question for me that's not covered on my webpage, call that number.
I'll get a hold of you. And subscribe just down, down, right down there off the edge of the screen. If you're not already following me along as a member on YouTube, come check us out. I'm on Facebook, on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, primarily Facebook. Gentlemen, I appreciate your all support. I appreciate everybody's patience that they have with working with me. I do what I can for who I can when I can do it. I'll see you guys. Bye.